YouTube. So I got a v little vlog I want to do for you guys this morning. I haven't done a vlog on my way to work in a minute, trying to switch it up on the roads. But I um, need to get to work today, so I'm just going to do a little vlog right now. For you guys that follow me on Instagram um, and have seen the pictures of my last track day, you're going to pretty much know exactly what I'm talking about. But today I'm going to vlog about how important body position is on a bike. Um, basically, I am, well, I'm super, super excited because my last track day, I finally got my knee down. I cannot even tell you how excited I was. But I will tell you, it scared the crap out of me. So the track day was epic. Um, I'll let you know that the um, motivation really started with Red Spade. Hopefully you guys know who she is. Um, if not, go check her out, Red Spade Racing. But she did a track day the week before and was completely dragging me. So awesome, it was so motivating. And so myself, uh, my friend Min, and Susan that I ride with all the time, we were all out at the track together, and all three of us touched on the same day. It was amazing. Those two totally dragged. Um, it scared them, but not enough to pull it back in. Like they scuffed their marks pretty, or their um, pucks pretty well. Mine, if you've seen the pictures, it literally touched, and I pulled it right back in. So I was having a blast. Um, I had a lot of speed, like it was, and I know I say this every time, but every time my track day gets faster. It is amazing. Um, my comfort with the bike is is just amazing. And so I kept the speed that I had going when I dragged my knee. And if you guys know the track at Chuckwalla, it was in the bowl, of course. Like where else would you drag knee for the first time on that track? Um, and it was clockwise this time, so it was with my right leg. And so the rest of the day I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it because it just scared me so bad. And so the rest of the day I pretty much, a lot of the track I would keep my legs in. And then there were some parts I was trying to drag and I just couldn't get there. It just messed with my head. Um, so I just decided, you know, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to ride. And that's what I did. I didn't touch down the rest of the day. However, um, the next day when Sho went to get our bikes off of the trailer, he noticed that he scraped peg, which was awesome. And it was funny because he comes in the house and he's like, hey, crazy lady, come check out the bikes. And I go out there and I see that he dragged peg. And of course, because Sho's just crazy. And I was like, well, that's cool, but why are you calling me crazy lady? And he said, you did the same thing. And I'm like, really? And so I go, and the spot I dragged Peg was so little. Um, but I did. It was clearly scraped. And so as I'm looking at that, I realize, oh my gosh, look at my bike. Like, the fairings were completely scraped. And there was a session, it was really windy out there that day, and there was a session that I went back in the, in the pits, and I was like, dang, I felt like the rocks were just beating me up in the bowl from the wind because I could feel stuff hitting my bike. And I just thought it was rocks from the wind. So apparently, it wasn't rocks from the wind. I had my bike so low and didn't have my knee out that I scraped my fairings. And so it's pretty cool. Um, they're cool marks that I'll hold on to for a little bit before I have it repainted. To know that I had my bike down that low, but I did get lucky. I mean, you know, your tires only hold you for so long before they give out. Um, as far as, you know, losing contact. And so basically, yeah, the body position is important. So we're hoping before the next track day, I'm hoping, um, to work on my body position just on my bike by itself, you know, on the stands and really work on where I need to be. Because I don't want to mess up my bike. I definitely don't want to crash. But I do want to keep riding super fast. And so that's my first knee touch experience. Um, and my bike up skate, if you've seen the pictures. And that's it. Just really work on body position. And I will tell you guys, like there was so long that I did not even care about dragging me. And there's a lot of people that are like, oh my gosh, if you don't drag me, you're not riding. And 
that's cool to have that mentality and I know it's fun for a lot of people to drag me there's but drag me on every single turn which is cool but I'm just not one of those riders that really worried about it and then as I kept getting closer yeah I did want to do it I'm not gonna lie and so I really was trying to touch the day that I touched before before I touched um, but oh my gosh I will tell you it scared the crap out of me and if you guys remember your first time that you did that it, it's scary it's not like you're just gonna go oh there it is like that doesn't happen so anyways work on body position um, for your guys's riding because it is important and that's what definitely what I will be working on for a while and hopefully I have it better before my next track day so that's all I got YouTube see